Hello and welcome to the latest video in the Getting Started series for ONM Profiler ESP. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a TVC quote on the system. Um, hopefully, you'll have had a chance to check out our other videos. There are some introductory features that I've covered in those, some other bits that I'll rely on in here. Um, this is a standalone video, so if you just want to know how to do a TVC, this will show you. But it is worth going back and revisiting those videos if you haven't had a chance yet. Okay, when you log in, you're greeted with this screen. And you can see down the bottom here, we've got a switch or transfer button. If your menu hasn't loaded for any reason or you've closed it, you just need to click on that home button again to get it open. If you're revisiting a quote, as ever, click on the three little dots to load the quote you've done. Don't create a new one for the same client. You're just going to duplicate the work. Um, but in our case, we're going to do a brand new transfer quote. So the system's clever enough to know that we need to capture some information from you. We need to know who this is for, what plans they've got, all that sort of thing. Um, if it's an existing client on the system, you can simply pick them from the list. I'm going to create a new one this time, and I'm just filling in the fields with red boxes around them, the required fields. And as we go through, the various problems that we've got with this quote will disappear because we're filling in the information that the system needs. So I'll just create this client here. You don't, and you'll see as we fill in the last box, all the exclamation marks have gone. It's automatically given the quote a name under the quote details, which is why that exclamation mark's gone. Um, you can see we've got a tax and lifetime allowance box for you to fill in. Only need to use this if they've got anything different. We've got some different options in there for when they've protected that. And obviously what tax region they're in and if they've used any of their lifetime allowance already. Um, so once we've filled all that in, we can step through to the current plans. Obviously we need to tell the system what type of quote this is. At this stage, we could do all sorts of different switching quotes. We can do a pension switch, we can do an ISA transfer, and significantly for this video today, we can do a DB transfer. So let's click on that. Now at this point, it knows we're gonna do a TVC quote. So there's some specific information that we need to capture, and we've got some specific inputs that we need to fill in. So I'm gonna step through those in this video um, and just cover in detail what you need to do. So first things first, we need to give it a name. I'm just gonna call it my DB scheme. Obviously you'll have something in mind. Um, I'm not working from a benefit statement, so I'm going to make up the numbers as I go along. But uh, obviously, you, you know, part of the challenge with this, we appreciate that, is translating all of the information you've got from your transfer pack into the system. So we try to make it as easy as possible. Um, we only capture the information you need for the quote. So you're better off stepping through these inputs, filling in the information that we ask for, and then revisiting it later on if you need to change the quote. We're not going to try and get every single piece of information off the scheme details at this stage, because a lot of it you won't need. Okay. So first things first, scheme normal retirement age. I'm going to leave that at 65. And this client, initially, we're going to look at the TVC running to normal retirement age. If you change that to an earlier date, it will prompt you for early retirement factors and all that sort of stuff. We'll show you that before the end of this video. Um, set the date left scheme. It's definitely worth doing that before you create the benefit segments because as you step through each of those segments, it's going to default to the same date. So you'll find yourself changing it lots of times if you haven't got that right the first time around. Uh, once you've filled in that basic information, we're gonna add in some details of what they've got. So let's just step through that. So for every segment you're adding, you'll get this input screen. It's gonna ask you some basic information, what type of segment it is, um, the name of it. You might wanna change that to match what's on the paperwork. The system will default to a, a meaningful name though, nonetheless. Um, you can change the normal retirement age if there is a different one, but again, it's inherited that from the parent. Um, and all you've got to do is just fill in the information for this particular segment. Revaluation rate, you'll see there's different types in there. Fixed rate, the system knows what fixed rate to use. I'll show you the definition of that shortly as well. Um, and the escalation rate, I'm just going to leave that on stat min as well. So once you've completed your segment, you can OK out or you can add in another segment. Chances are you've got a few of these to do. So just keep going through the wizard, entering in the different ones. And I'm just going to do the same here and fill in same details again keep going I've got two more that I'm going to do so I'm going to do an excess pre-97 slightly different options for the revaluation rate this time I'm going to leave it in statutory orders but I'm going to do RPI with a max of 5% so you can see the different options that you get to fill in here um, so all you're doing is matching the information that you've got about the scheme obviously if they haven't given you some information you might have to go back to them and get it I appreciate it, it can be a drawn out affair filling in one of these Hopefully, though, you've got all the information you need and you can whiz through it as quickly as I am here. And last one. 
And I'm just going to do the same for RPI and 5%. Okay. So once you've filled those in, we'll give you a nice summary here of what the total value was when they left the scheme. Um, if you hover over any of these, it'll give you a little bit more information. So if you've managed to pick the wrong segment type and rename it, you can see the differences there. You can see the, um, the revaluation rates just by hovering as well. And if I hover over the RPI here, it'll show me the max rate of 5% as well. So you can see all of that in that grid without going back into each segment to make changes. Um, I said I'd show you our definitions of what we've what we've used for fixed. If you see, we've got a little question mark here. We've also got the big help up the top. There's loads of information in here about DB transfers. So if you're not sure how to do something, so if you want to make a change to the state pension, if you want to do um, different revaluation rates, whatever it might be, there'll be something in there that tells you how to do it. Um, you can type in this box as well. So if I want to look for everything to do with state pension, you just got to type state and it'll bring me up the different ones. We've also got the glossary. And again, there's lots of information in here. If you've got a question, it's the first port of call you should go to because the guys have put loads of effort into answering all the questions you might get asked. Um, and if we get asked a question that isn't in there and we think it's going to come up again, we're going to add it into that glossary. So it's going to be continuously updated and it's definitely going to be a valuable resource for you when you're completing these cases. So if we look at our example of fixed rate revaluation, let's go to F. You can see there's a few different things. We've got it under revaluation rate, but we've got a link there under fixed as well. And then it'll tell you what rates are used depending on when they left the scheme. Uh, so you can see the definition of all the others as well. So there's, uh, there really is loads of information in there. Okay, once we're happy with our current plan segment layout, uh, we need to tell it some details about the transfer. So we've been given a transfer value as well. Let's pop that in. The date of the transfer value. Um, if, the, if you're going to do reduced pension with uh, commutation with PCLS, you can fill in details of that here as well. Um, you just need to put a little tick in the box and it'll ask you some of the extra factors. Um, if you need to refine the dependence details, you can come in here. It automatically assumes three years younger and female, three years older and male, depending on the uh, on the client. But obviously, you, you will have the specific details. Um, it's always worth having a look through the assumptions that have been used in this quote as well. So this will alter the new growth rates for the new plan. Obviously, that's an important part of Aptum. We'll come to that in the next session. Um, but you can also, you know, if short term to retirement, you can change those. Revaluation rate assumptions, early retirement factor assumptions, it's definitely worth reviewing those. Make sure you're happy with the assumptions that the system's made. Once you've entered all the details, click OK to come out of it. And as with the pension switch, you can OK as soon as you're finished, as soon as you get that green tick and it'll get you to the results. Or you can step through and fill in the new investments and advisor charging and all the other bits for the new plan. So I'm going to step through the new investments. I've set my default up. Obviously, this is exactly the same new investment selection that you've got everywhere in the system. I'm going to leave mine on the mixed interest and I'm going to bail at this point and get results. Excellent. Okay, so we've got our TVC comparison. We've got the chart you're expecting to see. We've got the explanation from the FCA. Um, what's really good with all of the charts in the system is you can zoom them. So you get a better view of them, but also we've added notes about that chart. So you'll see down here, we've got a link to notes and it goes into great detail about how that's calculated, what you're looking at, what the FCA assumptions you have to use for the TVC are and all those sorts of things. So again, if you've got any questions about the chart, it's always worth zooming them and having a look at the notes. Obviously, the other thing you can do when you zoom them is export them. So if you just want to include that TVC chart in your own documentation, you can just grab that as an image file, drop it in wherever you want. If I come out of that, we'll have a quick look at the results as well. So what we've calculated is we've calculated the revalued scheme. It's right down the bottom here. So at age 65, we've worked out that 10,000 that we entered has become 15,4. We've looked at it in today's terms, though, and it's it's 11,224. 11, so that's taken inflation into account between now and age 65. What we've done for each of these plans is we've taken the transfer value. We've grown it at the rates that the providers tell us to for the funds that we've used, using their charging structure, and then we're using the same annuity assumptions as the scheme in order to get a pension at age 65. So you can do a meaningful comparison between them. So it's not directly related to the TVC. Obviously, that is the bit that the, um, the regulator tells you you have to do. This is designed to join up perhaps the real life that you're then looking to switch this into something else. At this point, you probably want to get a report. So at the top here, we've got our report options. 
new report. So we've got a couple of reports in here that you might want to use. They've got the TVC report. This is designed to be client facing, so it doesn't have all of the number crunching and everything else in there that your compliance might want to see. So this is very much a lighter touch designed to give to the client to help them understand what's going on. Um, we've also got though, this pension transfer analysis report, and that is the one that you will probably want to put on file. It's got all the numbers you see on screen. It's got the old critical yields and things in there as well. Um, and, it, and it covers all of the inputs that you've entered for this case. So if you want, you can print the two combined or you can print the two separately and give them to the different people, depending on who's going to look at them. Uh, I'll just generate both of these. And we can have a quick look at those two reports. I'm not going to spend a great deal of time going through them. We're happy to answer any questions you've got if you want to ask us about the particular reports. Um, but just to show you the different style of these reports. So this is the TVC report, Pension Transfer Summary, designed for the client. It's got the required bit from the FCA. It also talks about what they might get when they transfer. And we look at a couple of options around what happens targeting incomes and things like that. So this specifically is looking at the state pension plus the benefits they're going to get from the existing plan, setting that as the um, as the target, and then it's mirroring it for a transfer into a pension, then purchasing an annuity, showing you the guaranteed income you might get from that. And then finally, we're showing you what would happen if you took that and used it for drawdown income. Uh, significance here is there is no guaranteed income from that drawdown, hence the zeros. Talk about the advantages and disadvantages, and that's that for the report. So as I say, if you're expecting to see all the critical yields and lots of other calcs in there, they're not in that report. Um, you know, One of the key things the FCA came out and said was that, that it should be explained to a client in the way they'd understand. You know, Don't go giving them a whole load of numbers they're not going to understand. So if you've got a client that, that wants all that, that's great. It's in this other pension transfer analysis report. But if, you, if they're not going to understand that, this is one that you might want to keep on file that goes into detail about all of the inputs that you've put in, shows you the transfer comparison, but it gives you lots more information, lots more numbers, um, but perhaps not quite as client friendly unless they're a technically minded client. Okay, if we go back to the quote, there's a couple of things that I'm gonna show you um, before we finish on the TVC side of things. So as with all of the quote sections we've got in the system and indeed all, all of the areas of the system in general, you can view more details. So if I want to view more details about this transfer, let's click on that. And it opens up a whole series of stories along the bottom of the screen. So the first one we've got is an income comparison. We've just seen those two charts in the report. Um, it's showing you the numbers as well. We've got the death benefit comparison, showing you what sort of income the dependent might be able to get. Uh, we go into the tax details, when they'll pay tax, how much they'll pay. And finally, the one I'm going to show you is the lifetime allowance calcs as well. There we go, going into detail about the lifetime allowance as well. So if we go back to the transfer quote, let's say we want to make changes to this quote. Well, as with all of them, once you're in the results, the inputs are hidden, so you need to get back to them by clicking on the button. And I want to make a change to the current plan. What I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to look at early retirement. I'm going to look at going at 60 instead. So under each of the segments, we have an early retirement factor. So you only see this when early retirement's in play. Conversely, if they're retiring late, you get the late retirement factor to do as well. Um, if it's dead easy, if it's a flat fixed rate, no matter how early they go, that gets reduced by, in this case, 4% every year, then you just need to type that number in. Um, if, however, you've got a series of early retirement factors and your client's looking to go five years early, you might need to use our calculator. So let's just show you that. It automatically knows what you've input previously, so it's got all that in there. Um, and if you've got a rate of 0.86 or whatever, 86%, you just need to type that in there. System will work out what that is as a factor for the each year and pop that in. So it'll do that, do that maths for you. So I'm just going to step through each of the other segments and put that 2.8 in just to show the results afterwards as well. 2.8. Just one more to go. 2.8. There we go. Um, again, check the assumptions. There's assumptions specifically about early retirement factors. So if the scheme has revalued re to benefits and then applied the factor, or if they've done it to normal retirement age, it's an important one to check. We'll come out of there and generate results. 
There we go. And we've got exactly the same scenario, but this time to age 60. Uh, same premise, you can then print the TVC, you can print the analysis report, you can go in and look at taking um, PCLS first and all the other bits. Uh, but the last thing I'm going to show you in this session is how to change this layout here. So when we went into the story, we saw a couple of um, modeler charts, a couple of income needs um, and, and how they work. So I actually want to see those on my results screen. So if you come in here and click view dashboard, there's a series of system supplied ones, but you can also create your own and we can help you do that as a secondary exercise. But I'm just going to look at this one, results HD plus three. There we go. So the same result set, just a different layout, showing you some different information. I've still got my TVC chart. I haven't got the FCA wording. I don't need to see that every time. I can see enough on this chart to tell me that. And I've got the safeguard of benefits model and I've got the transfer into drawdown model. So they're handy ones to have on screen at all time for me. Um, I don't need to then go into the story to see them, but obviously everyone's different. And that's why we've designed the system to be as flexible as it is that you can have a completely customized layout exactly as you want it. Um, obviously TVC is only part of the story nowadays. You've then got to do the, the APTA, the appropriate pension transfer analysis. Um, and we do that in our modeler. So as you'd expect, there's a nice easy shortcut into the APTA process. You click on continue to APTA and it'll take you into our modeler with this all pre-programmed in for you to add extra plans and all the rest of it. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in the next video. Okay, I hope you found that useful and please do join me for the next video where we'll be continuing into our APTA process and customizing this to suit the client's needs. Thanks for watching.